21175 Hamden. We're here in East Aurora. A little newer neighborhood. Just a little bit a mile from here. And then I moved uh, about four or five miles south. So this is sort of my old stomping grounds, close to where uh, I live now. Okay, let us go take a look. Very big open room here. The living room, dining room. Just want to check one thing. I think this one only had a two-car garage. Let me check that first and see. Oh no, it's three. I don't know what I was missing there. Okay. Yeah, three-car garage. Very good. All right. So main floor. A little more of an office. Oh, somebody's a runner. He's a pretty good runner, too, it looks like. A lot better than me. All right, so this could easily be a bedroom. No closet, but it's big enough. Okay. Let's check out this bathroom here. Just a half bath. Come in here. Big kitchen. Oh, you know my pet peeves already. Black range, stainless steel fridge, stainless steel dishwasher. Why, 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 why? Eh, what can you do? All right, so gas range. It's actually still a very nice home. My petty, my petty differences aside, I actually still like this place. I like it a lot. Oh, is this thing upside down? What happened here? Okay. I don't know if this thing got flipped around here. If it did, I'll go back through. That was sort of odd. All right. Nice kitchen, double oven, hardwood floors, big family room. flipping around. I guess if it's flipped then just uh, maybe stand on your head uh, <laughs> to watch the video. All right. so this one faces straight east. You're not going to get any view but you do back to open space back here. So it's not a view but you get no one behind you. Nice pond down there. If we get lucky, no, it's a cloudy out there. You could, might be able to see the mountains over there. Okay, the one thing about this house, and you could probably put one in, there's no fence on the side. There's a fence over there on that house. I know you can put them in here. The fence on that side, but between these two houses, there is no fence. If you have a dog and you have nice neighbors, you can just put the cost with them. Deck is shot, but it says it'll be repaired by this weekend, so that's good. Okay, so downstairs is very nice, very clean, very open. All right, let's go take a look upstairs, see how that looks. It's a great big loft area. I mean, really, really big. I'll have to check. I think this is a Ryland home. All right, so we come through here. Big spare room. Very nice. Spare bath. Two sinks. God, these are decent sized spare rooms. Okay, so it's two bedrooms and a loft so far. washer and dryer upstairs. 
little girls' rooms is cute. These are good sized rooms. There are nothing wrong with these rooms. Oh, here we go. Got the mother in law bathroom. Okay, very nice. So, they gave the little princess her own bathroom. That's cute. Here's the master. Not huge, but they got a lot of furniture in here, though, too. Not the biggest we've seen, but I don't know how big you're going to need. You got a king size bed, a hutch, a dresser, and you still got room on both sides for um, some nightstands. I'm not sure you guys can see. A few cows out there grazing in the distance. Master bath. It's one of the newer houses we've seen. This house is actually in really, really good condition. Closets, good size, very nice house so far. Whirlpool tub. So you've got the four bedrooms upstairs, and really three bathrooms. The master has a bath, the mother-in-law room has a bath. And here's your third bath. You have three full baths for four bedrooms up here, and a big loft. So this is a really, really big house. This floor plan is interesting because this here, this loft. I've seen this fuller plan where this is vaulted in this room down here. So the loft is actually an add-on. I like it better with the loft. This here is not vaulted, but you get the extra space. And this is still probably, God, if that's not nine feet, that's 10 feet. I don't know, I'm 6'5". I don't know if you can see this, but this is not a short ceiling. These newer houses have the big ceilings. All right, let's head down. That's not it. Ah, here we go. Second time's a charm. All right. So great big, big basement here. Pretty much just open, it looks like. Let's see if they have anything down here. There's your walk out. This is just yeah, furnace in here. There might be a bedroom over here. Let's take a look. That's going to go into the furnace room also. Yep. All right, but what do we have here? Oh, okay. Here we go. Big, big room. Big, big. That's a... Is that a queen? That's a queen. A queen here. Closet and your own bathroom. So by my count, you got three bathrooms upstairs. One down here that's four. Half bath on the first floor. This, and again, I can't remember. You may have told me. Um, would be great, I would think for uh, the daughter to have all by herself. Give her the whole basement. Of course, if she's listening to this, uh, <laughs> feel free to censor at your own risk <clears throat> if you don't want her to have the whole basement, but this would be a great place. I know my kids are rapidly approaching. One's a teenager, one's 10, and they'd be very, very happy with the whole basement to themselves. But yeah, this is nice with that whole bedroom and bath. And there you go.